sound. Hey everyone, Chris here. Welcome back. Uh, we are taking a look at the new ASW28 sailplane. This is a new offering from Tower Hobbies. Uh, you know, if you've never done any kind of sailplaning before, it's a whole other animal. Uh, and so when you've got the power on the front, you know, you can take the thing up as high as you want and power off flight. And so you can get extremely long flight times. And if you're lucky enough, you might be able to thermal it too. Uh, but that really depends on the conditions and whatnot. And so the model has a two meter wingspan, flies really nicely. Uh, it is all bare foam. Uh, and so if you wanted to paint it or whatever, you could certainly do that. But otherwise, they recommend a 4S2200 battery. I'm using the Smart 4S2200, uh, and that's working really well. There's plenty of space in here. You can put larger batteries in it too if you ever wanted to. Uh, but otherwise, in terms of the placement for the 2200, you know, I've, I've got it here basically in the middle of the hatch area, uh, and that's working really well. The CG is really nice there. It feels really good in flight. And so that CG equates to 70 millimeters as measured from the wing root leading edge F. Uh, and that is per the manual, that feels really good. Uh, you know, with a sailplane, you want a really nice, stable airframe. Uh, and so if you're coming in a power off dive and you find the airplane is hunting a little bit in that dive, you want to move your CG further forward. Uh, and so where I have it now, it feels excellent. Uh, and so in terms of the controls, I am at my mid rates all around. I found the high rates felt a little too sensitive for my liking. And so for the aileron, that's 80%, no expo at all. For the elevator, again, 80%, no expo. And then for the rudder, I'm at 100% and no expo there either. Uh, and so that feels really good. And also the airplane has flaps in it that helps with the landing. It slows down really nicely, uh, but you do need to be aware if you get it too slow, then you know it'll drop in on you on the landing. Uh, and so for the flaps, I have a 10% down elevator mix with the flaps, otherwise the airplane will want to climb on you slightly. Otherwise, you know, flying the airplane, it flies extremely nice. Uh, you know, you do have to take a firm grip, firm toss with about 60%, give it a good toss. It stays nice and level and flies mostly out of your hand. Otherwise, you know, with the flaps down, it slows down really nicely on the landings. Uh, it looks really cool in the air. Uh, and so, you know, the goal always is go up as high as you can, see how long you can fly without any power. Uh, and so you can get really long flight times with it doing that. Uh, but otherwise, you know, it's fully aerobatic as well. So loops, rolls, all of that, power on, power off. Uh, you can do them all. And um, yeah, really nice flying, nice looking airplane. Let's take it out. We'll give it a, a firm, stiff toss and uh, get you guys a flight. We'll come back, we'll wrap this up. Uh, I forgot to mention, I do have an AR637 receiver in here. I do have the gyro set up. It doesn't really need it, uh, but I'm just using the, the standard you know, gains that it, it puts in automatically and it feels good, but like I said, it doesn't need a gyro at all uh, and it's extremely stable. Think we can touch and go it? Sure. <laughs> you heard it. Yeah. <laughs> We're sure it's a prop. Can't make contact now. <laughs>
get up there, kind of steer it with a rudder. Try and keep the wings level. Not going very fast, just hangs there. Really nice. sound. That's not the jet, it's the distance. <laughs> There we have it, the ASW28 from Tower Hobbies. Brand new offering from them. Uh, really nice to see. Uh, it's a really nice flying sailplane. Just be aware of you know the launch uh, and what it takes, uh, but otherwise, a lot of fun. Sailplanes are insanely cool, and the sound that it makes with the power off is just music to my ears. Uh, and so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out this next video, and until next time, we'll see you at the field.